Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I would get started on a uh, new uh, space station and that uh, I think I got the feature set uh, of what I want it to do uh, worked out and I got kind of a shape and style I wanted to try too and it's going to be I don't know if anybody's familiar with a older uh, RTS game called Sins of Solar Empire, but they had uh, something in there called Star Bases, and I kind of liked the uh, the shape and design, and uh, it would be very doable in Star and uh, Imperium as well. So I kind of wanted to try that approach, but loosely. I mean, I'm not trying to copy it or make a replica of those. So at the end of the day, what I was thinking on main features, um, of course, uh, being a base in space, I'd want it to do uh, furnaces um, and things that uh, CVs cannot do. I'd want it to have module support. Um, I'd like, uh, it'd be kind of cool if it could have upward to uh, eight module docks, I'm thinking, somewhere in that, in that realm. Um, I would also want it to have like a, uh, like some, some kind of a hanger um, uh, I was thinking about setting up some, like, structures on it where you could add more storage as you needed, because it's something I noticed, uh, like, uh, flying around, um, on the Anvil server, taking a look at everybody's, uh, bases, that uh, a lot of players that would have, like, a, a tremendous amount of, uh, storage. Now, you can, you can get that with modules, um, but it'd be kind of neat to have some in-house as well, and, uh... I think I'll have it come with some, but I was thinking about, you know, an easy way for a player to add in more cargo extensions and controllers as they need it. Now, that's kind of a bit of an afterthought, but to start with here, I guess we'll just get started on this. I'm going to, uh, I believe this is going to be mostly uh, symmetric um, on this particular build, but I'm not exactly sure on the sizes. I spawned a... Uh, a test module over here just so I know the dimensions when I'm getting ready to put in the, uh, the module bays. As in farms, I don't know what I really want it to be with uh, farms. I don't want players to have to uh, build the grow plots necessarily. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start on a sideway profile here. So the first thing I, I want to do is establish like the top of the base uh, size and dimensions. Um, and I'm, it's a little bit up in the air on how big this is going to have to be yet. Um, and a lot of this may change as I keep on going here. But I wanted to make sure that it was big enough. Um, so let's just say, at least early on, this is the, uh, the top of the base. Um, uh, let me ex try to figure out how, how far it's going to go out being square here. I want to do five blocks there. Let's do five blocks on this side. Um, at my current size, probably not good enough. Let's do another five blocks in each of these directions. Let's see what I'm trying to go for here. I don't know if you're familiar with what I'm uh, talking about as reference either. Um, let's see, how many blocks out did I go here? Well, let's make sure we're... Symmetry is going to mess with me on this. I know it. <laughs> okay, so we're at the same length there. Yeah. So I just want to take these out to that length. Okay, so um, over here, what I'm going to want to do is start some angles here just so I know where things come out. And I'm trying to figure out how big the corners sh should be. Um, now, of course, uh, versus what's in um, Sins of Solar Empire, this would be uh, quite massively scaled down, I would say. Um, here. I have to do a little bit more measuring here in a minute here, too. I want to make sure that this column and that column are the same length right now. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And so it's on fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. Okay, so good. We're, we are symmetrical. So this part here, 
Um, essentially, what I want to do is now uh, start like working on uh, the, the general shaping here. And uh, the whole top of this bay is getting, going towards the center. And it might go further down, too, is going to be at a 22.5 degree angle, kind of like what I'm doing here. So this is kind of uh, just, oops, uh, a little bit of uh, block work here to see where things are going to come out at, again, at some different angles. And it has a special side angle on this, too. But... Uh, yeah, something like this uses uh, some 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 just big uh, some big angles, um, not a whole lot of cut-ins and things like that on it. And I wanted to get somewhat close to the center, but I wanted to leave some room in the middle as well. So I'm going to stop that angle there. Um, and we're going to want to kind of do the same thing, rolling out from over here. Yeah, with uh, uh, symmetry, I don't even know if I should have symmetry on on this. I might uh, end up copying and pasting chunks of it that are um, complete um, to form the whole structure. And I think this will be kind of neat because it's, uh, I believe it's a roomy design. Below, I plan on having it uh, support a bunch of modules. Um, and I'd like to have, you know, um, at least eight, eight module bays. Um, I'll have to investigate the... Uh, Jora, your, yeah, I think that's it, uh, modules um, as well. I want to see, uh, there's quite a few of those as well, and they are a smaller size module than the Helios one. So that could be also very handy to have in the ship. I apologize for the uh, being in space with the symmetry. It's a little bit harder to see. I'm in Reforged Eden, too, and I got a, uh, it doesn't seem to allow you to have a, uh, a light when you first start out in creative. Um, I think I'm going to fix that right now, though. So let me, uh, I didn't, it's something I didn't think about before. I'm not sure why. I kind of wish you could just have a light when you start. Um, let's see, but uh, armor. So I want an armor locker. And how about actual armor? Um, where would that even be? I have no idea. We spell an armor in here. Um, armor locker. Uh, oh God, what do you even call it? I think I got to put on a different suit so I can get a light. Which is kind of crazy being in creative. Just something to think about. Um, if uh, any of the uh, devs of Reforge Eden are looking at this, that would be awfully nice to just start with. Uh, light and creative I don't know what I'm looking for oh well, maybe I can't have a light where are the armor pieces in here um, I just don't see them anywhere they don't come up on a list are they not spawnable well, maybe they're in oh there they are okay light armor that's weird for me too with the search too when I type in a armor here it doesn't oh no ah. I'm just an idiot, I guess. Okay, so we're going to go with some advanced heavy armor, I guess. And let me uh, lay down a temporary armor locker. And uh, let's uh, put the armor on. And now I should be able to have a light. Woohoo, I got a light. <laughs> All right, so major milestone done. Almost complete with this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so coming up to the edges here. Um, I guess I'm going to start that right here right now. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to run that same pattern up over here in the corners. No, I'm not going to want to do it that way. So now, uh, okay, so now what I want to do is some angled stuff here. Um, I think we're going to use a lot of these blocks in this process here, but I want to make sure that I get them on the same things. So they mess with the other angles. So if I started with something like that, and we'll just uh, keep on filling these in, going up here. Oops. Something like that. We'll put in all the, uh, the little blocks here in a bit. Let's 
comes out if I'm doing it right or not here. Um, okay, so the angle needs to go to the same height as what that is. And then I'll have to uh, work on the edges so it, it messes right. Might have to change a few blocks here already. sides now I'm a little oblong there on the one side so something like that almost oops now I decided to make the uh, this out of steel right now now uh, because it's a uh, space station it could also be in concrete I don't think uh, from what I've seen, when you, typically, when you spawn a space station, you're typically never attacked. So, I mean, I, I could add some um, turret positions, but I don't really want to necessarily go gung-ho and give it a bunch of turrets because it kind of seems like they just get wasted. Um, if you're spawning something like this, you probably would not be spawning it in hostile space environment. Okay, so now the next part of this is I've got this, this angle here. And I want to make this angle meet the other angle. So I think I'm actually going too far with this already. So let's uh, let's draw one of these out here for reference. And it looks like it would come to there. Wow, that's lower than I thought it would be. Um, that's okay, though. Let's take out a bunch of what I put in here already. And one more. So right there, and let me do the same thing. So I started at two blocks in, so it'd be right there. Going this way, yeah, I built that up way too much. Oops. Okay. But here's the thing, though. This angle here still needs to go all the way up to the center. Um, okay, so this row goes away too. And uh, it's going to be a little interesting on how I do this. I think these, uh, these changes, I'm going to have to move those as well. And this should be bigger on the, uh, the sides. Um, here, let's uh, simulate that a little bit. It's a little bit tricky at the get-go getting the uh, the groundwork right, but once I do, I think it'll uh, start getting a lot faster at getting this built. Um, working on a lot of these details first, but it needs to be accurate. Then I got to do some measuring for modules and storage bays and some other things too. But what I want is I want this ang this surface going this way, going up to the same height as what those are maintaining an angle all the way up um, and then I want to make these walls go up far enough to mesh up evenly with it on the sides that's kind of the big thing it's kind of it's not a it's kind of a, like a diamond shaped kind of thing I suppose that's what the end goal is at least at least on the top now the rest of it I'm gonna take a lot of liberties on and just kind of uh, make it however uh, see, that's the problem, though, I've got. Now I'm, I'm concerned that uh, I'm going to have to make all the rest of this work. So that's going to have to be bigger and come out more, um, I think, which is fine. I wanted this. I, I'm kind of shooting for, a, I don't know, somewhere around a size class 5. It's not going to be a starter, like a tiny starter. Um, it's going to be a little bit bigger than that, but I didn't want it, like, I want it smaller than, like, the Hephaestus spaceport um, that I thought was a little bit on the big side um, and I'm can then not try to put much fluff in this I want it really really focused around uh, player function and so it might have a little fluff but um, it'll be um, only if I got extra space which the way it's going right now I'll probably have extra space but let's see how that comes out okay so we've got this angle um, I guess that's good enough for now. Let me just fill in a few more things here. And just 
trying to establish the corners. I probably should have started with the corners, actually, now thinking about it. Okay, so that might be about what I'm looking for there on the sideward side angles there. Okay, let's just stop there with it. Make that nice and even across. Okay, so there's our side slope. So now, the big thing that was uh, backwards about this here, I'll, I'm going to work on this side simply because it works with symmetry. So now what I want to do is straighten this out, and we'll run that actually pretty, pretty much straight across here right now. And Okay, that is the new spot on where these side slope angles should be at. So let's, uh, let's get at least a central area down here. Now, after the fact, a lot of this, I'm going to do some chopping up of these blocks and try to give it some, um, some definition too. Um, but right now I just wanted to establish the base structure. figure out how far this is going to have to come out to do that. Oops. I'm hoping this design is pretty efficient in the end too. Uh, although it's, it's kind of big, I didn't want it to take, use a ton of blocks. Um, well, I want to keep it as, as low as I can. Okay, so now, now we have our top angle. Let me uh, build that up to the top over here, too. Here, let's just, uh, yeah, we could leave that out like that. And we've got the sloping angle on the side. So now this should all uh, be able to mesh up in here. We get it right, at least. So every time it should go up one more block up into a certain point, but it's going to be angled on the sides here too, so maybe I went too far there. Let's find out here a minute. So let's start plugging in a bunch of these. Okay, so I already see I'm too high there. And we'd have to have that there. So at least we're on the same page. That would be kind of neat. Um, all right, so something like that. A little bit off though. Although I wanted this angle here, I wanted the angles over here to not be so curvy all the way up. I don't know if that's possible though with the blocks here. Let's pop in a little bit more here in a minute and see how that comes out. Maybe do some tweaking to it. 
Okay, so this, let's see if we're running this out from here then. Come to there. Okay. It's kind of right, but something needs to give here though. It's not quite it's not quite right. I think it's this angle here needs to be and how do I do that? Can I do that? That's another thing. overall shape yeah I guess my main thing is I wanted the angles here to be a little bit different going down these sides um, it's almost like it's stretching too far in one direction where it, maybe this part should be raised up in the middle more how would I do that uh, I don't It's sort of sort of resembling the shape, um, at least across this this side here. It's not quite doing it though. It's almost like maybe it's too high. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the if I uh, pull off a, a row on the top, and smooth that out a little bit. Maybe it'll feel better. here okay so we're doing three and then this would curve or change direction over this way um, that's our current top so that works out So we did that. Just kind of go here and just go one, one short of the center point. Usually after I'm done building like a hall too, I'll like carve out any block that doesn't need to be used for the for the hall. Um, the biggest thing though is my outside angles here. Do they just seem like they're just too much? But I think I'm part of the problem though is there's some shapes that I'm not going to be able to do um, in this to try to simulate that um, weird kind of uh, diamond shape angle thing I'm going for, but. Maybe uh, maybe there's some tweaks that can be done to dial it in a little bit better. All right, 
So I kind of got the idea of how it's starting out here at least. Get rid of some other uh, junk here that's no longer needed. kind of how we're at right now and figure uh, this side will be copied over to the other side so I'm not so worried about duplicating what I just did here um, but I would like to figure out what I can do going down the sides here to add in some definition now and then some definition around the border um, so I'm thinking of but we're at a we're at a 45 here Ultimately, what I'd love to have is like a bevel that comes out or indents, either or, but I don't think either of those things are going to be possible with the blocks that are here, but I'm not sure yet. So let's just at least give it a try. Um, now, I know if I uh, wanted to bevel this up and go with the same thing that I will get, oops, get something like it would stick out. Yeah, that's just not going to work. Um, oops. Or to angle this so it comes down there and then this squares off more. Oh, maybe that's a thing. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. It's going too far down on the edges. I'll try that. Let's get rid of a couple rows over here a second. So I took off two on that side. Let's do the same here. Something like that. Set that a little off. Okay, so that meets up directly with that angle. This looks like it's... See how many? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I gotta shave one more off this side. Like that. Alright. Okay, so I'm just thinking, yeah, at this angle here, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do it. Man, I keep on thinking I can, though. I'm thinking there's a way, but yeah, at a complete 45 like this. Uh, I don't think so. All right, let's do a little. Uh, let's do a little trim lip kind of thing over here now. It sticks out a little bit past the uh, the edge. Let's see how that comes out. Um, what block should be used for this though? Just go with square right now. Or so I don't want to go at the same thing that I was going at, the same block, the same angle. Um, I could go with that and then I think he's here, but that's a little bit bigger trim and I wanted or let's just go out of the box and go let's, yeah let's go to a different angle set here this is uh, gonna differ from the actual uh, base or the, the the star base thing that I'm kind of at least uh, kind of loosely trying to follow especially on the top part of this let's say we put in a bunch of those and then its counterpart these guys here so the angle changes a little bit Now I can get a, a little bit tighter trim piece in there. So, all right, so the sides here, this is where it gets a little bit tricky too. Um, I'm thinking I almost want to just keep that, 
like sticking up like it is now here. I don't really want it to go out further and be like a complete diamond. so bad though I give a nice little kind of lip there maybe some windows uh, access to some interior space guess let's just follow through with this a second here um, both directions it's about the center there I think I can get on board with this right now. It's uh, close enough, I think. I really want to find something that I can do with the uh, the 45 here, though. It's, um, just trying to think, what could I do that could look right? I, I know I can make like things stick up on one side or the other that way, but not. I want to, I want to change like this and have it like drop down a block or something. I think it'd look really cool, but man, it's just, yeah, with these parts, there's just no, no solution. There's no block solution for that. So yeah, just keep on moving on. I think I, what I want to do and what can be done are kind of a lot of times two different things. <laughs> so you got to like modify what you're thinking because you got to make it work with the uh, the blocks that are there um, one way or another so okay so I don't mind that this part so much so now um, let's just say that uh, don't don't worry about that side that we'll mirror this this side over to the other side here at some point um, actually let me clean up a bunch of this stuff in the middle here too get rid of all that stuff All right, well, let's, let's have a little fun in the center, though. Since this isn't following the same thing, maybe have this stick out a little bit over here, maybe for some little observation booth or something. I don't know. Um, we can modify the blocks below to match up with the top. Just down the center. Let's go at least five wide, though, with it. Some more of these. Yeah, let's just say that that comes out another. And maybe uh, let's uh, let's put in like a couple different angles here to kind of give it a smoother look. So we'll start with that, and we'll switch these up. that and let's get a couple more blocks in there okay so now is it possible to bevel this as well on the sides I think it might be so let me, uh, let me see what can be done with that put in one of these That. Okay. 
almost the straight part here might give me a little bit of slack but uh, the rest of it I think should work fine Whether or not I like it, that's another uh, that's another thing. <laughs> um, that's not so bad though, I guess. We'll see how it all comes out in the end though. So many things will, will change. Uh, the first part of this really just trying to establish a, a shape and design. So now something I got to keep um, on module bays, what I need to do is make them uh, 19 wide. Now I'll leave one block on each side. Um, as in depth, I'm not so worried about depth, but uh, the width width is going to be important now so what I'm thinking the top part of this base um, we'll have to like put like a way to get in it um, it might not be big enough yet um, but top part of the base would be uh, probably production um, hanger uh, probably a combo thing where you got production and a hanger and uh, like your your living space um, and then there's going to be a uh, tower that kind of goes down um, and the tower is going to have uh, module support and I even toyed with the idea of trying to run module docking at a 45 degree angle which I think would be really really cool but um, and I can uh, I can tilt LCD guides at 45 but um, what I'm worried about and I think would ultimately fail is even if I had a uh, like a nice smooth angled wall that it could dock on to at 45 I think the game logistics would cause it to have huge problems trying to land this at a 45 degree angle um, and that is something I was worried about um, so without since I don't know how that's gonna work I think it'd be a perfect time to test that though too because that that module over there can dock oh, I can't I can't drag out at an angle can I <laughs> so what I want to do is just make a uh, temporary surface over here um, uh, basically a flat wall oh, man. there we go and then I want to see if the module can park at an angle on oh man I went through a thousand blocks already amazing how that goes or maybe I didn't start with a thousand that could have been it get that filled in I'll be blown away all these blocks in place in right now uh, I'm not sure if that's quite wide enough let me just build that out another row a minute just for testing purposes get one more on the other side now uh, some other thoughts I had too and I don't know if I want to go go through with it is I thought about building a space station that doesn't use gravity generators and everything is designed to uh, float around in with a jetpack so you could uh, put stuff on the floors and ceiling and all over the place it was an idea I had I don't know if I want to try to do that with this uh, this though so all right so on this module here now let's see if I can come up and dock at uh, let's see what's wall surface so I wanted if I can dock at a 45 degree angle here I know I can put up guides to guide you in this way pretty uh, be a little bit more tricky but not too bad I don't think but I don't know what's gonna happen here if I come up to this wall it didn't appear to dock so what's actually happening here well, Yeah, the uh, planning gear don't seem to be coming out. I don't think they would. I'm a little off-centered, too. If it's too tricky, though, if it's too hard to do, that's just something you got to kind of shut down on. Um, let me level this out and pull forward again. Nah, that doesn't seem to work. Really cool if it did, though. Um, it looks like it sh almost should it um, what I what I was happy with though is it did actually line up here and didn't like push push it out like a imaginary half block uh, block row out oh you know what 
It's a base, and that's a CV. And CVs technically don't dock to bases. They can land on them, but they don't technically dock to it. Um, hmm. So, and since it does actually fit flush with that wall, um, even though these are like half angled blocks, they must have the collision right on those blocks to deal with that, which is interesting, interesting uh, to know. Um, hmm. Well, essentially speaking, let's, let's say this was uh, a little bit bigger, right? Um, in this, in this uh, essence, you could literally have uh, modules dock around like all eight directions around here. So you, um, that would be like the center point, and then you could put in, have them dock in at 45 degrees on the four corners, and then uh, you know 90 or degrees or whatever on the uh, on the middle sections of it, which would be kind of neat. Um, I'm trying to um, usually when building too, what I'm trying to do is is use a lot of angled blocks to get rid of that illusion that you're you're uh, or or to try to make it look like you're not using voxels to build this stuff. Like the angles are these big flowing things that, you know, if you see enough different angles and shapes all in one area, your mind kind of uh, no longer starts to, you know, look at it like Minecraft, at least, at least me. You know, and when I look at something and it's like extra blocky, I instantly like revert back and start thinking, hey, that's, it looks like Minecraft. Um, so I try to avoid doing that, and that's why I like to have these big, smooth, uh, angles and things like that in a lot of creations um, just to uh, to break up that so it no longer looks like it would be that way. So, okay, well, okay. Let's just experiment with this a little bit more, though. I think it's possible that this concept could work, but here's what I'm very worried about, too, is is internal access. Like, okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll just say I wasn't guided in here. I probably should have been a little bit more to that side. But how would... I'd probably have to be up a little bit taller too but look at that though it actually this lines up quite well with that um i actually wasn't wasn't so sure how that was going to work out so if we were here and this was the inside of the base um you know we've got we have also got some angled doors um let's get some of those out a minute uh, door so many parts, not hard to find them. Okay, so let's see. We took uh, one of these. Let's see if this. Okay, so the angled doors would be these guys over here, or curved doors. Oh. Okay, so let me back this out a little bit too for now. Highly experimental here. Just, just trying to see if I could do this. I wasn't planning on trying to pull pull this off, but it'd be kind of neat if it could do something like that. But I'm just logistically, I got to see if this is possible to work. So, okay, let's say we had a door here and over here and here and all around here were walls. Um, Something like that there. Okay, just some lockup angle docking. Figure on the top here too. Like, uh, let's see if the door probably be a little bit low right now. So let's just uh, get that height there. So lock high. Okay, so I'm gonna just put some stupid blocks here in a minute. The unintelligent blocks here. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. Okay, uh, this is just to simulate a roof right now. So I can uh, press up against it, basically. Um, except it's not big enough to really make it nice, but it should be good enough for testing. Okay, I can't 
can't see nothing, so let me just pull forward all the way to the wall, and then push up, and I probably tilted the whole craft a bit. Oh, no, a little bit. But figure, yeah, if the, if the ceiling was there, it would keep the back of this down. Actually, let me level it off again. Okay. Yeah, not high enough. All right. Okay, well, pretty close. Okay, so what kind of, uh, if I uh, go to walk out of this module here. I'm still low, and I'm not all the way in either. Darn it. All right. And up a little bit. And... Huh. Not too shabby. See with proper guides and uh, the whole ceiling worked out, so you get that uh, little flatter. And this technically, I think, could work at a 45. Huh. Well, okay. Um, now that's a pretty big module to be docking there, and the station's not big enough, at least uh, that way, to probably. Well, maybe it is. Um, anyway, it's a good test. So I'll, I'll call this part one now. Um, this is basically just trying to figure out some things, trying to uh, get the general base shape. Um, I have a feeling it's going to need to be bigger, so I'll probably extend uh, things down in the corners here um, further. Um, but I'll do that on the uh, on the next part of this. Um, I don't want to have these videos too long, but uh, this was um, something I've never tried before is angled docking like that, especially with a module. Didn't know if it was possible to do it. I was fearing that the collision of these these 45 degree blocks would cause like a ghost shape of a full block here and not allow it to pull all the way up like it is. But that's not the case. It actually does work. Um, so I'm a little surprised actually. <laughs> And, and that, that's a cool thing. I mean, that's that's a cool thing. I expected it not to work, but it does work. And you can actually put in a legit-looking angled door to meet up with it. And um, hmm, that could allow docking on the angles of it and uh, really, really change the, uh, the looks and shape of when things are docked to it. Uh, really lose that look that it's uh, made of voxels, especially when you're seeing a full creation at 45 degrees where you couldn't make that out of voxels, even if you wanted to with all the different angles from the base creation. But when they dock into it, it doesn't matter because it's a separate part. So, yeah, I do dig that. Anyway, um, this is part one. I'm going to keep on working on parts of this, and I'll just... Uh, Keep on chugging those out, uh, kind of go through the whole process here. Some parts I might, uh, you know, if it's going to be a big monotonous thing, though, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing, and then I'll uh, skip forward um, after it's done so you don't have to sit and watch texturing for, like, two hours or something like that. It gets a little ridiculous. All right, uh, and take it easy on this part. See you later.